Good morning everyone. As you can see, this is Asus R511L. Let me double check the model number. Which is R511L. Yeah, correct. And recently I had issue with the Windows. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reinstall Windows 10 from my bootable USB thumb drive, okay? You know, to install the Windows, need to change the boot option from the BIOS. So we need to get into BIOS. Okay. Every single brand and model comes with different specification how to get into BIOS. Okay. So S is also different than Dell and HP. Anyway, I'm gonna get to the point. So first, what we're gonna do? We're gonna insert this Windows 10 bootable drive into the USB port. Now, ASUS, all the latest ASUS, little bit different to get into BIOS, not like before. So what you need to do, press F2 and hold it. At the same time, press the power button and don't let the F2 button go until you see the BIOS screen. Okay, as you can see, it's so simple. But if you press the power button, then if you keep pressing f2 that's the absolute wrong way you can never get into point okay so once again press and hold f2 while the computer is completely turned off and then while you keep holding the f2 key press the power button and until you see the bio screen don't let the f2 button go anyway so now we are into the screen what are you going to do we're going to go to advanced and try to find out usb configuration hit enter as i can see legacy usb support enable so make sure your one also enable otherwise you can get into usb boot if this is disabled if that is enabled then press escape and go back to boot option and before we go to the boot option i'm going to go once to security to check if there is any secure boot option okay so let's go to security by the right arrow and now from here I can see the secure boot menu which is also most important for USB boot so I'm gonna hit enter once in there as you can see the secure boot control is enabled we must need to make it disabled otherwise the system would not find out this bootable legacy Windows 10 thumb drive okay so hit enter go to disable hit enter again to save it secure boot control disable okay let's make it enable again okay uh, secure boot disable fine so once it's done then go back to escape we're gonna go in here we're gonna go back to boot menu and from here we can see this launch csm disabled launch csm should be enabled i'm gonna make it enable now from here we can see the two different boot options are available okay so what i'm going to do first i'm going to choose the kingstone which is eufi data traveler okay so kingstone data traveler 3.0 version that's the one number one and option two don't worry about it windows can configure it anyway later on so now what i done to save it save all the changes settings I need to press F10 and exit it. F10, enter yes. Now it should be boot up from this USB drive. We're gonna check what happened. If not, then we must need to check the BIOS option again. Might be there is some edit needed. It seems we are into the right page, all right? So from now on, you know what you to do. But anyway, I'm going to go a little bit farther just to show you the complete boot. So I'm going to choose for me United Kingdom. For your one, you can choose whatever you want. Hit next. Install now. This one going to take a little bit of time. It depends on your machine configuration the hard drive or SSD health and stuff like that and how much junk that you have in your internal hard drive or SSD. Okay. 
sometimes it seems like stuck but it's not stuck it takes a little bit of time to get into the anyway so once you see the setup page make sure you accept the terms and condition which is that one by clicking it then okay. click on next and I then if you would like to and then if you would like to install the fresh installation you need to go to custom option and click enter and from here what i'm going to do i'm going to clean it i don't have any important data but if you do have then make sure you do back it up first before you go further otherwise problem okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to recreate the partition All right, so all of them turn into one. As you can see, this is 931 gig, which is one terabyte, but I wanna split it into two. So I'm gonna show you how to create the partition for Windows 10, for any machine, all of them same. Okay, so as you can see, this is 953. I'm gonna make a 453. So it would be not exactly half, but almost half of the actual hard drive. creating takes a little bit of time if the hard drive does have any issue then it's going to show up now otherwise it's going to be done properly without any error message okay so it seems the hard drive is fine okay don't be confused if you see there are more partition that you did not create it sometimes windows does that okay As you can see, the unallocated space, 483, also you need to create it. Otherwise, you would not be able to see in your computer. Okay. Click apply. Don't change any numbers or anything. Okay. So technically, here is only two partition, which is drive zero, partition four, and drive zero partition five so one of them 188 488 another one 442 so i'm going to choose the bigger one for the windows you can choose any one of them i'm going to hit next and from now on from here it's going to go to you know it's going to fill up as you can see the tick number one and then it's going to go down up to 100 percent it's going to be take a little bit of time. It depends on your machine configuration. If you do have powerful PC or powerful laptop, does not matter from Asus or any other brand, then, you know, it's going to be more, much more quicker if that is kind of Core i3 like my one and 4 gig of RAM and 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, which is ordinary hard drive, then it's going to take a little bit of time. So as you can see, this is 2% uh, already done. In that way, it's gonna go up to 100%. And then you're gonna able to see there are a lot of question uh, before the activation, ask about some permission from you to grant it. Either you have option to choose yes or not. Uh, the troubleshoot and the, how the computer should behave and the security settings about the location and stuff. You know if you want you can just skip it if you don't want it and if you are agree with the windows uh, approach then you can say yes pretty much that's all then it's going to be take a little bit of time one or couple of restart and it should be done anyway i'm going to finish the video in right here because you know no points for rest of the video it's, it's, it's going to be same anyway so thank you so much for watching still if you do have any question regarding this asus r 510 l then please let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to reply it until then thank you so much for watching i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now